ओम ज्ञानम तिमिरंद से ज्ञान जन श्री गुरु नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभिष्ट स्थापित भूतले स्वूप कदाति स्वदाति वंदे हम श्री गुरु श्री उत पद कमल श्री गुरु वैष्णव चा श्री रूपम सागर जात सह गंध गुनाथ वितम तम सजीव साधवेत सवधूत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण प्रदान सह गंधलता श्री विशाख वितम नमाम विष्णु पदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमती भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे शून्यवादी पार्षदे शिणे हे कृष्ण कृष्ण जगतपते गोपेश गोपे कांचन गौरांगी श्री राधे नृष्भानुसुते देवी कल्पतरूभे स कृपा सिंधु वे वच पति नाम पावने व्यो वैश्य नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वित गदाधर शिव सदि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जगदुशल प्रपात की जय जय वी हैव टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द लास्ट पैराग्राफ पीपल आर अमेज्ड यस प्रो सीक्वेंस ही फॉलो करते हैं फिर है ना जैसे मैं पढ़ूंगा फिर आप पढ़ लेना कनक माता ज्वाइन नहीं किया आज ओके तो मैं आप फिर कनक माता जी फिर अनुष्का माता जी और जो जो लोग भी जुड़ते जाएंगे वो अनुष्का माता जी के बाद ऐड होते जाएंगे और फिर मैं आ जाऊंगा ठीक है ओके लेट स्टार्ट पीपल आर अमेज एट सींग बिग मशीन विद मेनी मेनी पार्ट बट एन इंटेलिजेंट पर्सन नोज दैट हाउ एवर वंडरफुल मशीन मे बी it does not work unless an operator comes and pushes the proper button therefore who is more important the operator or the machine so we are concerned not with the material machine this cosmic manifestation but with its operator krishna now you may say well how do i know that he is a operator krishna say maya dyakshena prakriti suyate sura suchararam Bhagavad Gita, ninth chapter, ten shloka. Under my direction, the whole cosmic manifestation is working. If you say no, Krishna is not the operator behind the cosmos, then you have to accept another operator, and you must present him. But this you cannot do. Therefore, in the absence of your proof, you should accept mine. Okay. So yes, moving to the next. Next, the. the fifth morning walk may 3 1973 record uh, on the shores of the pacific ocean near los angeles chila prabhupad is accompanied by dr singh and brahmananda swami the invisible plot prabhu ji characters aa gaye hain sir hmm kya mujhe padhna hai new characters hain isme chila prabhu नहीं नहीं सीक्वेंस में पढ़ते हैं ओके okay, okay. उसमें फिर कैरेक्टर में क्या होता है दो तीन लोग ही पढ़ पाते हैं तो हम सीक्वेंस में जैसे मैंने okay. पढ़ा फिर आपने पढ़ा फिर कनक माता जी ने फिर अनुष्का माता जी ने ऐसे पढ़ लिया ओके तो जी शिल प्रभात ऑलमोस्ट एवरीवन इन द वर्ल्ड इज अंडर द फॉल्स इंप्रेशन दैट लाइफ इज बोर्न फ्रॉम मैटर वी कैन नॉट अलाउ दिस नॉनसेंसिकल थ्योरी टू गो एंड चैलेंज लाइफ डज नॉट कम फ्रॉम मैटर मैटर इज जनरेटेड फ्रॉम लाइफ this is not theory it is a fact science is based on incorrect theory therefore all its calculation and conclusions are wrong and people are suffering because of this when all these mistaken modern scientific theories are corrected people will become happy so we must challenge the scientists and defeat them otherwise they will be misled the entire society matter changes in six phases birth growth maintenance production of by products dwindling and death but but the life within matter the spirit soul is eternal it goes through no such changes life appears to be developing and decaying but actually it is simply passing through each of the six phases until the material body can no longer be maintained then the old body dies and the soul enters a new body when our clothing is old and worn we change it similarly one day our bodies will become old and useless and we pass on to a new body yeah. should i continue yeah. kanak mata ji pad sakte hain As Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita 2.13, Dehi no samay yata dehi kamaran yovam zara tata deha antra prapta. As the embodied soul continually passes in this body from boyhood to youth to old age, the soul similarly passes into another body at death. 
and a little later antavama ime deha nityas tyo sarina this means that only the material body of the indestructible and the eternal living entity is subject to destruction thus the material body is perishable but the life within the body is nitya eternal तो मतलब जो सोल है वो तो नित्य हो गई और लाइफ दूसरी दूसरी माइंड के हिसाब से उसे बॉडी मिलती रहेगी मतलब माइंड विल डिसाइड द नेक्स्ट बॉडी ये पॉइंट क्लियर है ना जो माइंड है ही विल डिसाइड द नेक्स्ट बॉडी जो आत्मा है उसको बस नेक्स्ट बॉडी नेक्स्ट बॉडी मिलती रहेगी माइंड की जो कॉन्शियसनेस है उसके हिसाब से उसको दूसरी बॉडी मिलती रहेगी ठीक है ओके यस अनुष्ठा माता जी हरे कृष्णा everything works on the basis of this living force this is the passive ocean and these high waves are being manipulated by living force this airplane ship shila propa gestures towards a passing aircraft is flying but it is it flying undirected hmm living force ka matlab samajh gaye anushka anta ji ji bro ji wo soul yes to so, prabhat bol rahe hain fir plane ka ishara karte hain ki plane thoda undirected chal raha hai kya so someone is directing it yes udit hmm udit ko yes ji aapka turn hai acha acha ye maine padha na someone is directing it to aap pad sakte ho oh yes everything is working under someone's direction why do the rascal scientists deny this This airplane is a big machine, but it is flying under the direction of small spiritual spark. The pilot, the pilot. Scientists cannot prove that this big seven four seven airplane could fly without the small spiritual spark. So, as the small spiritual spark can direct a large plane, the big spiritual spark directs the whole cosmic manifestation. Yeah. The Savit Savitra Upanishad says, "Kesagra Sata Bhagasya." मेजरमेंट ऑफ द सोल द प्रोपराइटर ऑफ द बॉडी इज वन टेन थाउजेंड पार्ट ऑफ द टिप ऑफ अ हेयर दिस इज वेरी स्मॉल एटोमिक बट बिकॉज ऑफ दैट एटोमिक स्पिरिचुअल एनर्जी माई बॉडी इज वर्किंग that atomic spiritual energy is within the body and therefore the body works and the airplane flies is it so difficult to understand yes. suppose a, suppose a man thinks himself very stout and strong why is he stout and strong is it it is only because within him there exists a spiritual spark as soon, as soon as the spiritual spark is gone his strength and vigor disappear and the vultures come and eat his body if yes, scientists sir. say that matter is the cause of is the cause and origin of life then let us ask them to bring back the life just one then dead man then let us ask them to bring back life just one hmm. dead man to you matter hai na wo bole ki bhai matter se agar life aa rahi hai to dead man matter hai aap usme life la ke dekho hai na ji one great man like professor einstein let let them inject some chemical so that just one dead man may come back to life and work again but this they cannot do there are so many things they do not know but still they are called scientists to prabhat unhi ki community ka example dekhe matlab ye sarcastically knowledge dena hai to prabhat bol rahe hai ki theek hai tum bol rahe ho na matter se aati hai to tum ek dead body se aadmi leke dikhao sirf ek aadmi professor scientist <laughs> और अपने कम्युनिटी का एक लागे दिखा तो मतलब उस हिसाब से बोल रहे हैं ओके समटाइम्स व्हेन अ प्रॉब्लम इज टू ड्रेडफुली सीरियस वी टेंड टू टेक इट लाइटली यस व्हेन अ मंकी कॉन्फ्रेंट्स अ टाइगर द मंकी क्लोजेस इट्स इट्स आईज एंड द टाइगर इमीडिएटली अटैक्स सिमिलरली इफ साइंटिस्ट कैन नॉट सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम दे मे थिंक ऑल लाइट लेट इट गो ऑन दिस इज एक्चुअली व्हाट दे आर डूइंग बिकॉज़ ऑफ आवर रियल पोजीशन इज रियल प्रॉब्लम इज डेथ No one wants to die, but scientists cannot stop death. They speak superficially about death because they cannot give any relief from it. We do not wish to die. We do not wish to become old, and we do not wish to become diseased. But what help can scientists offer? They cannot do anything about it. They have set aside the major problems. In Bengal, there is a story called Jungle Ki Raja. 
concerning a jackal who become king of the forest jackals are known for their cunning one day this jackal came into a village and fell into a tub of blue dye he fled to the forest but he had become blue so all the animals said what is this what is this who is this animal even the lion was surprised we have never seen you before sir who are you the jackal replied i have been sent by god <laughs> so they began to worship him as god but then one night some other jackals began to cry wa 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 and since jackals cannot restrain themselves from returning the call of their own kind the blue jackal also began to cry cry wa 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 and thus he exposed himself before all the other animals as being nothing more than a jackal many jackals have been arrested and have been resigned from your government <laughs> the water gate affair it is called the water gate scandal <laughs> we are done practically speaking at the present moment no honest man can become a government official this is true everywhere unless one is a wrong a dishonest person one cannot maintain his government position therefore no noble man goes into the government but what can you do politicians are the greatest cheaters Yes, they are scoundrels. One philosopher <laughs> said that politics is the last resort of scoundrels. <laughs> Do scientists know the no cause of cancer? They have several theories. Suppose, suppose you know the cause of cancer. What is this? What is the benefit if you could stop cancer? Even if you could stop cancer, you could not make a man live forever. That is not possible. Cancer or no cancer, a man has to die. he stop he cannot stop death that may be caused if not by cancer simply by an accident real scientific research should aim at stopping death that is real science and that is krishna consciousness simply to discover some medicine to cure disease is not a triumph triumph the real triumph is to stop all disease bhagavad gita chapter 8 shloka 16 assert that the real trouble is birth death disease old age abrahma bhuvana lokah punar avartino arjuna from the highest planet in this material world down to the lowest all are places of misery where repeated birth and death take place the solution to the problem of repeated birth and death is krishna consciousness which we are practicing and offering to everyone the perfect result of this practice is that after the present body becomes useless and dies one is no longer forced to accept a metal body and subject to birth death disease and old age this is real science The sixth morning walk, May seven, nineteen seventy three, recorded on May seven, nineteen seventy three, on the shores of the Pacific Ocean near Los Angeles. Sri La Prabhat is accompanied accompanied by Dr. Singh Brahmaran Swami and other students. The scientists say that life begins from chemicals, but the real question is, where have the chemicals come from? The chemical come from life, and this means that life has mystic powers. For example, an orange tree contains many oranges, and each orange contains chemical, critic, citric acid, and others. So, where have these chemicals come from? Obviously, they have come from the life within the tree. The scientists are missing the origin of the chemicals. They have started their investigation from the chemicals, but they cannot identify the origin of the chemicals. Chemicals come from the supreme life God. Just as the living body of a man produces many chemicals, the supreme life the supreme lord is producing all the chemicals found in the atmosphere in the water in humans in animals and in the earth and this that is called mystic power unless the mystic power of the lord is accepted there is no solution to the problem of the origin of life the scientist will reply that they cannot believe in mystic power but they must explain the origin of the chemicals and even can see that an ordinary tree is producing many chemicals but how does it produce them since the chemicals cannot answer scientists cannot answer this they must accept that the living force has mystic power i cannot even explain how my fingernail is growing out of my finger it is beyond the power of my brain in my words my fingernail is growing by inconceivable potency achinta shakti so if achinta shakti exists in an ordinary human being imagine how much achinta shakti god possesses the difference between god and me is that although i have the same potencies as god i cannot produce only a small quantity of chemicals 
whereas he can produce enormous quantities. I can produce a little water in the form of perspiration, but God can produce the seas. Analysis of one drop of seawater gives you the qualitative analysis of the sea without any mistake. Similarly, the ordinary living being is part and parcel of God. So by analyzing the living beings, we can begin to understand God. In God, there is great mystic potency. God's mystic potency is working swiftly, exactly like an electric machine. Some machines operate by electrical energy and they are so nicely made that all the work is done simply by pushing a button. Similarly, God said, let there be creation and there was creation. Considered in this way, the workings of nature are not very difficult to understand. God has such wonderful potencies that the creation on his order alone immediately takes place. Some scientists don't accept God or Achintya Shakti. That is their rascaldom. God exists and his Achintya Shakti also exists. Where does a bird's power to fly come from? Both you and the bird are living entities. But the bird can fly because of its Achantya Shakti. And you cannot. You cannot. To give another example, semen is produced from blood. A man has mystic power in his body so that he is sexually inclined. Blood is transformed into semen. How is this done unless there is some mystic power involved? There are many mystic powers in the living entities. The cow eats grass and produces milk. Everyone knows this. But can you take some grass and produce milk? Can you? Therefore, there is mystic power within the cow. As soon as the cow eats grass, she can transform it into milk. Man and woman are basically the same. But as a man, you cannot eat food and produce milk, although a woman can. These are mystic powers. Scientists would say that there are different enzymes or chemicals inside different type of bodies and that these account for the cows producing milk. Yes, but who produced those enzymes and that arrangement that was done by mystic power? You cannot make these enzymes or that arrangement. You cannot produce milk from dry grass in your laboratory. Within your body, by mystic power, you can transform food into blood and tissue. But in your laboratory, without mystic power, you cannot even transform grass into milk. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you must accept the existence of mystic power. Uh, the origin of mystic power. Yogis are mainly concerned with developing different mystic powers. A yogi can walk on the water without drowning. The law of gravity does not operate on him. This is mystic power called laghima. Laghima means that a person can become lighter than cotton and contract the law of gravity. The yoga system simply develops the inconceivable potency already present in the practitioner. These boys are swimming, gesturing to serve bathers, but I cannot swim. Yet that swimming power is potential within me, within me. I simply have to practice it. So if the yogic power is so potent and the human being think how much more, you, more, more power God has. Therefore, mm -hmm. therefore in the Vedas. Very good. Are you going to get No, Prabhuji, you are here. Therefore, in the Vedas, he is called Yogesh Yogeshwar, Yogeshwar, which means master of all mystic power. In the Bhagavad Gita 10.8, Krishna says, Aham sarvasya prabhu mata sarvam parvate. I am the source of all spiritual and material worlds. Everything emanates from me. Unless we accept this statement from God, there is no conclusive explanation to the origin of material nature. God cannot be understood without accepting the existence of a mystic power. But if you understand God scientifically, then you will understand everything. So do you mean to say that science has started from an intermediate point, not from the original point? Yes, that is it exactly. They are ignorant of the origin. The scientists start from one point, but where does that point come from that they do not know in spite of vast research? One has to accept that the original source is God, who is full of all mystic powers and from whom everything emanates. He himself says in Bhagavad Gita, Aham sarvasya prabhavo matta sarvam pravartate. I am the source of all spiritual material words. Everything emanates from me. Bhagavad Gita chapter 10, 8 shloka, our conclusions are not based on blind faith. They are more scientific. Matter comes from life. In life, in the origin, there are unlimited material resources. That is the great mystery of creation. If you drop a needle, 
it will fall immediately. But a bird weighing several pounds can float in the air. We must establish the origin of this floating. If we study nature, we find that every living entity has some mystic power. A man cannot live within the water for more than a few hours. Yet a fish lives there continuously. Is that not mystic power? It is mystic power for me, but not for the fish. Yes, that is because mystic power is not uniformly distributed. But all the mystic powers exist in God, the origin of everything. I derive some of his mystic power, you derive some, and the birds derive some. But the storehouse of mystic power is God. Yeah. I think we should stop now one minute left. So we'll complete this paragraph and then we'll stop. There are eight basic types of mystic powers. Some of them are lagima, by which one can become lighter than, the, than a feather. Mahima, by which one can become bigger than a mountain. Prapti, which enables one to capture anything he likes. And Ishitwa, by which one can completely subdue and control any, another being. Another type of mystic power can be seen in the sun because from the sunshine, innumerable things are inexplicably produced. Unless the scientists accept the existence of mystic power, they cannot explain these phenomena. They are simply beating around the bush. Okay. A clever scientist. We'll stop now. Bro, already time. Okay. Yes, okay. Sorry. okay. 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 mystic power. Okay. 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 बीच में एक पॉइंट आया था जो वो बोल रहे थे कि आप प्रोफेसर आइंस्टाइन को वापस ला सकते हैं क्या वो वो वाला पॉइंट मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा था जो प्रोफाइल जैसे उसको मॉक कर रहे थे कि साइंटिस्ट ऐसा कर सकते हैं क्या और वो साइंटिस्ट का ही एग्जांपल लेके कर रहे थे हां अच्छा आओ काफी ये आप मैटर से बोल रहे हो कि जीवन आता है तो ठीक है मैटर है डेड बॉडी लेके आओ उससे जीवन और साइंटिस्ट को ही लेके आ जाओ आपको कम्युनिटी के आदमी है जी <laughs> क्यों बोले प्रोफाइल इतना साइंटिस्ट के बारे में पता है क्योंकि साइंटिस्ट ही सबसे ज्यादा ज्ञान फैलाते हैं संसार में है ना ये रिसर्च करके कुछ बोल देते हैं जैसे हम पढ़े थे ना एक बार की जब पोलीबैग का रिसर्च होता तो वो रिसर्च तो कुछ और कर रहे थे कुछ रिसर्च करके कुछ और निकल आया कहीं कह रहे तो खिंच रहा है थोड़ा थोड़ा फिर बोले कि अच्छा इसके पोलीबैग बना सकते हैं अब वो सब इतना वाइडली यूज होते हैं पोलिथिन वगैरह और अब जाके बोल रहे हैं कि अरे ये तो बहुत डेंजरस है <laughs> इससे ये हो जाता है वो हो जाता है तो सबसे ज्यादा अज्ञान ही साइंटिस्ट लोग फैलाते हैं इसलिए हमेशा साइंटिस्ट लोगों को बोले है ना जी प्रोजे एक लेक्चर में सुना भी था मैंने कि जब ये कार्स वगैरह बनी थी तब तो सब बहुत खुश हुए थे लेकिन तो उस टाइम ये जब पोल्यूशन वाला जो था उस टाइम ये पता था कि ये चीज होगी बट इतनी बड़ी इतना बड़ा हो जाएगा ये चीज नहीं पता थी तो आगे जाके वो रिग्रेट कर रहे हैं कि क्यों बनाया ऐसे ही आप देखोगे तो स्मोकिंग का भी जैसे ब्रेस्ट कैंसर है एक टाइम पे लेडीज सिगरेट नहीं पीती थी यूएस में ये था कि अब कहा मार्केटिंग करें क्योंकि ऑल मैन आर स्मोकिंग तो बड़े बड़े ऑक्सफोर्ड से निकले हुए एम के लोग बोले कि नो नो हाफ ऑफ द मार्केट इज स्टिल लेफ्ट बोले अरे कैसे बोले वुमेन आर नॉट स्मोकिंग अरे अच्छा <laughs> इनको ही पिला सकते हैं बोले हाँ हाँ हमने सब बदमाशियां सीखी हैं एम में हम करवा सकते हैं तो बदमाशियां लगाई फिर और जब रिपब्लिक डे परेड होती है उसमें बहुत चुनिंदा स्पोर्ट्स पे वो बड़ी बड़ी एक्टर्स को खड़ा किया गया और वो ऐसे जो छल्ले घुमा रही थी स्मोकिंग के जिससे इट्स लाइक साइन ऑफ फ्रीडम वी कैन डू एनीथिंग तो वैसे उस समय तो बहुत हवा बनी हुई थी वो माहौल उस समय ऐसा था तो काफी बड़ी बड़ी लेडीज को देखा जब एक्ट्रेस एक्ट्रेस तो सब टेमी बोर्ड मानते हैं ना लोग एक्ट्रेस को तो एक्टर एक्ट्रेस को तो, तो बस उनको फॉलो करना शुरू किया गया और उसके बाद जब केस पढ़े कुछ दस या पंद्रह साल के बाद पता चला कि इससे लेडीज़ में ब्रेस्ट कैंसर हो जाता है इसलिए प्रभात हमेशा साइंटिस्ट को रिसर्चर्स को बड़ी गालियां देते हैं क्योंकि इन्होंने सारा समाज खराब कर रखा है इतने पढ़े लिखे लोग रहे हैं ये इन्होंने ही सबसे ज्यादा खराब किया हुआ है ना बड़े बड़े साइंटिस्ट नहीं कहेंगे हम अतिस्ट है भगवान को नहीं मानते लोग कहेंगे यार कुछ बोल रहा है पढ़ा लिखा आदमी कुछ तो बात होगी 
या फिर लैंग्वेज बैरियर ला देना जैसे मान लीजिए अगर मैं बात कर रहा हूँ और आप लोग उसको काउंटर कर सकते हैं कि अरे अरे प्रो जी ये क्या बोल दिया आप है ना बट अगर इसमें लैंग्वेज बैरियर ला दू मैं जैसे मान लीजिए कि मैं इसमें मेरे से बात करना ही है अगर आपको तो आपको एक डिग्री होनी चाहिए कौन सी डिग्री है कोई फलातून डिग्री होनी चाहिए तभी आप मेरी लैंग्वेज में बात कर पाओगे मुझसे तो साइंटिस्ट से अगर आपको बात करनी है तो आपको जैसे डॉक्टर साइंटिस्ट से बात करनी है मान लीजिए तो आपको पहले मेडिकल स्टूडेंट बनना पड़ेगा तभी तो उसकी लैंग्वेज में बात हो पाएगी वरना वो दवाइयों के इसके नाम बोलेगा बात ही नहीं कर पाओगे केमिस्ट से बात करना है सोडियम पोटेशियम पता होना चाहिए सोडा सोडा वोडा बोलेगा तो आप बहस कर लोगे उससे बोले क्या बकवास कर रहे सोडा भगवान से आएगा सोडियम वैसे तो सोडियम भी भगवान से है पर सोडियम है क्या हो गया तुम तो फूल हो पाओगे तो इस तरह से सोसाइटी काउंटर नहीं कर पाती है कि उन्होंने लैंग्वेज बैरियर ला दिया है ना और लैंग्वेज बैरियर को क्रॉस करना कर क्रॉस अब तभी कर पाओगे जब आप उनके जैसा बन जाओगे और आप उनके जैसा बन गए तो उनकी पार्टी में आगे आर्ग्यूमेंट का तो पॉइंट ही खत्म समझ रहे क्या बोल रहे हो इस तरह से ना बड़े बड़े लोग सोसाइटी चला रहे हैं पता है और हम लोग सोचते हैं कि हम ही हीरो है प्रभु जी अभी मैंने एक एथिस्ट का चैनल देखा था फेसबुक पे वो बहुत नेगेटिव पोस्ट करता है और उसने अपने कमेंट सेक्शन पे इतना बड़ा बैरियर लगाया हुआ है कि अगर आप कुछ भी नेगेटिव कमेंट करोगे तो वो शो ही नहीं होगा आपके पास सीधा नोटिफिकेशन आ जाएगा या तो आप इसे डिलीट करो या हाइड करो अच्छा उसकी पोस्ट पे सिर्फ आप पॉजिटिव कमेंट्स देखोगे मैंने फिर उसकी और पोस्ट देखी तो देखा कि सब वो कमेंट्स वो ही थी जो उसपे पॉजिटिव कमेंट्स आ रहे थे पॉजिटिव मतलब अच्छा पॉजिटिव मतलब जो उसको सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं हाँ अच्छा। मतलब अगर ऐसे लिखेंगे ना यू आर लायर यू आर चीटर तो जाएगा ही नहीं उस पर कमेंट अच्छा खुद को बचाने के लिए भी प्रीचिंग जरूरी है खुद को बचाने के लिए प्रीचिंग जरूरी है क्योंकि जब हम प्रीचिंग करेंगे तभी भक्त जुड़ेंगे भक्त जुड़ेंगे तो वही आपको बचा लेंगे मान लीजिए मैं सोचू माया में जाने के लिए किसी वजह से तो तभी उदित का फोन आ जाएगा प्रोजी क्या चेयर करना है वीडियोस का क्या करना है चैनल की बच गया वरना <laughs> <laughs> तो किसी भी टाइम जा सकता हूँ कल रात ही प्रोजी का फोन आया था अपने दशावता प्रभु का तो यही सब मैं सोच रहा था कि प्रीचिंग करना बहुत जरूरी है क्योंकि प्रीचिंग करेंगे ना तभी हम खुद भी बच सकते हैं प्रीचिंग से मुझे राधा गोविंद महाराज जी कह रहे थे कि जैसे भगवान की जब दामोदर लीला हुई थी तो भगवान खुद तो बंधे हुए हैं और नलकुबेर और मणिगरीब का उद्धार कर दिया उन्होंने और फिर भगवान को खोलने के लिए गोप सखा है बाद में तो कह रहे थे कि इससे भगवान ये हमें संदेश देना चाहते हैं कि आप तो खुद बंधे हुए हो पर औरों का बंधन खोलो आपके भी कोई ना कोई खोल ही देगा इट्स लाइक प्रीचिंग प्रीचिंग करो आप औरों के बंधन खोलो आपके भी कोई ना कोई खोल ही देगा इसकी चिंता मत करो है ना अच्छा लगा था मेरे को पॉइंट वहां से ओके सॉरी स्टॉप नाउ वंशा कल्प तरु वैश्या कृपा सिंधु विजय पतिता नाम पावने भ्यो वैष्णव ने भ्यो नमो नमः अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वंद की जय श्री कृपा थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग एवरीवन हरे कृष्णा